is y equals e to the x the only function that is equal to its own derivative. So if y is equal to e to the x, we know that y prime, the derivative, is equal to e to the x. This is one of the reasons the exponential function is so famous in calculus. Of course, we can also multiply this by a constant and get the same property. For example, if y is equal to 5 times e to the x, then when you differentiate that, the constant comes out, so y prime is also going to equal to 5 e to the x. And similarly for any constant. But why are these functions, y equals c e to the x, where c is a constant, the only functions equal to their own derivative, let's find out. So number one is, let us assume that there is a function, so this is going to be a theorem. The theorem is that, let f of x be a function, so here's a theorem, let f of x be a differentiable function, so that, so f of x is a differentiable function, function such that f prime of x is equal to f of x. So the f is equal to its own derivative. Now why is it true that f of x is a constant times e to the x? That's what we're going to prove. So if this is true, then f of x is going to equal to c e to the x for some constant c. Now if you have no idea about mathematical proofs, don't worry. It's not really anything except a watertight argument for why this is true and we're going to do it in a couple of minutes. So let's get into it. So how we're going to go for this is we're going to assume that such a function exists and use the fact that f prime is f to deduce our conclusion. So what we're going to do, and here's our proof is going to be on this side of the board. Our proof is going to be, um, let us define g of x. We define a new function g of x equals to f of x divided by e to the x. Okay, simple enough function. We want to understand g of x, so we're going to differentiate g of x. So let's do that. What is the derivative of g of x? So g prime of x uses the quotient rule, right? The quotient rule for differentiation tells us that you differentiate the top, f prime of x, multiply by the bottom, then differentiate the bottom and multiply by the top. But we know that e to the x is its own derivative. So we get e to the x times the top, which is f of x, divided by the square of the denominator, which is going to be e to the x squared. Now, this is not going to matter so much. Uh, we've got that. Now, one quick comment before I dive into it is g of x is a well-defined function because e to the x is never 0. So you can divide by e to the x and get a well-defined function. So that's all OK. And now what we can do is we can see that because of our assumption that f prime was equal to f f, right, f is its own derivative, we're just going to get 0 on the top. We're just going to get e to the x times f prime of x minus f of x divided by e to the x squared. And we don't even need to simplify this. We just know this is 0 because f prime is equal to f. So therefore, the derivative of g is equal to 0. And now we know, this is a fact in calculus, that if a function differentiates to 0, it has to be a constant. So therefore, we get, so here continued, so therefore, g of x is equal to a constant. OK, so c, we call it c. And therefore, because g of x was the ratio f of x by e to the x, we know that therefore that um, f of x over e to the x is c. So therefore, f of x is equal to c times e to the x. And our theorem is proved, and we draw a square box. And that indicates the end of the proof. OK, so that's a proof that the only function which differentiates to be itself is e to the x. Pretty cool. I love it a lot because it uses the quotient rule and it just shows you beyond reasonable doubt, beyond any doubt, there is no other function, which is so cool, right? So I'm going to leave this video with one other comment, one quick question to you, and I want you to drop me a comment down below and tell me what you think to this, okay? So I presented this in a class when I was um, teaching a calculus class in Princeton, and a student asked me this question, what about this function? And isn't it equal to its own derivative, but not a constant times e to the x? So the function they gave me was the following. Um, you could say, let, let's say h of x equals e to the x plus 1. If you try to differentiate using the chain rule, you get h prime of x is e to the x plus 1 times the derivative of x plus 1, which is just 1. So why, why is this not a counterexample? Drop me a comment down below. I'd love to read it. That's 5-Minute Math with me, Amitesh. Please leave a like and subscribe. I really love making this video. I'm excited to make so much more. My goal is free accessible math education worldwide at all levels of math. But liking, subscribing, watching my videos, recommending to family and friends, it really helps achieve my goal to help as many people as possible. I hope I help support you, and I'll see you in the next video.